This is ABC 15 News. Tonight, a Phoenix firefighter taking his first steps toward recovery after a devastating accident. Thank you for choosing us. I'm Steve Irvin. And I'm Susan Casper. It's been three months now since a dump truck slammed into a group of Valley motorcyclists waiting at a traffic light. Four were killed. And Captain Ernie Lizarraga was critically hurt. Only on ABC 15's Jennifer Parks shows us his remarkable progress. And we just wanted him to wake up and wake up. And then when he finally woke up, things just moved up from there. You're looking at the first pictures of Phoenix Fire Captain Ernie Lizagara as he comes home from the hospital. The Phoenix Fire Captain has amazed everyone, including doctors who thought he would have to spend two more months in the hospital. That's amazing. And I remind him every day, too. I said, Dad, you were completely um, unconscious in a hospital bed. Daughter Sianna quit her job and works around the clock caring for her dad. She remembers the day a dump truck plowed into her dad and a group of motorcyclists. With collapsed lungs, multiple broken bones, and facial fractures, Sianna said Ernie was in bad shape, but it was the head trauma that scared her mom. She was the most scared that, that he wasn't going to make it and she was going to be by herself. The bones healed. Now the focus is on treating Ernie's brain injury. He doesn't remember the accident, but has started to talk again. And here's pictures of him in therapy starting to walk. We know we just sit back in silence and just watch him and, and watch the smile on his face. And, and after he was done, just the, to hear him say that that felt great was um, enough for us. Sianna says the family took Ernie down to the scene of the crash where he's been touched by the memorials. He um, always mentions the four people and his four friends that passed away. He mentions it uh, once every day, I would say. But those who know Ernie say his 22 years on the fire department are not done. They know he'll be back and maybe even on a motorcycle again. If this had happened to anyone else, you know, God only knows what would have happened. But with Ernie, he, you know, he's a fighter and, and um, uh, the remarkable recovery is just his will. In Phoenix, Jennifer Parks, ABC 15 News. Ernie's family says there was more anger when they found out the man driving that dump truck is accused of having meth in his system.